this week is Parashat Shkalim. We read the second uh, special portion from the Torah, where we uh, have the Mafnir, we read it from the beginning of Parashat Kitisa. Why do we read it this week? So essentially the, the Torah tells us that uh, every day there would be a, a Korban brought in the morning and one at the end of the day. There is the bookends. The first Korban of the day is called the Korban Tamid. It's brought, Tamid means frequent, it's every day. Every day there would be a Korban in the morning and a Korban in the afternoon. So the morning one would be like the Shacharit one and the afternoon one would be the Mincha one. So every day these Korban would have to be brought. The Torah tells us that when it teaches us these laws, it's the section we read on Rosh Chodesh, it says, Zot olat Chodesh bechotcho lechotche hashana. This is the, the law of the Ola of the month for the month, for the months of the year. It says the word Chodesh many times. The Gemara asks, why, does he, why do you say the word Chodesh so many times? It's actually teaching you the word Chadash. Chadash means new. That means at one point during the year, you need to refresh the funds from which you use to donate these, this sheep. Zot al Chodesh Chadesh Collect new funds. So there has to be a point of the year where you're collecting new funds, and all of the sheep that's being brought at a certain point of the year starts with new funds. When is the point of that year? When we learn, because it says We also had in Parashat Bo, when it talks about the month of Nisan It says We learned that the new funds have to begin with the month of Nisan Okay? So be, stay with me Starting in the month of Nisan, it's like your new fiscal year You need to have new uh, funds for these korbanot If in the month of Nisan you want to have the new funds Then when do you start fundraising? Chachamim tell us, you start fundraising 30 days before Shloshim Yom Kodem. So the beginning of Nisan, you want to have the new funds. So the beginning of Adar, which is the month before, you need to start collecting the funds. When is Rosh Chodesh Adar? It's this coming up, Monday night, Tuesday and Wednesday. The first of Adar is on Wednesday. So the Mishnah tells us is that whenever you have Rosh Chodesh Adar, on that, if it's Shabbat, then on that Shabbat, you read Parashat Shkavim. If it's not Shabbat, and the prior week, you read Parashat Shkalim. So that's what we have. Rosh Chodesh Adar, the first of Adar is coming up Wednesday. The month of Adar, we want to start collecting the new funds because we need to have the new funds ready by the month of Nisan for this mitzvah of this korban. So that's why we start uh, start reading it this week. Now, the section that we read, Parashat Shkalim, is the section of collecting the funds. So it's, everyone has to give some shkalim, or chatsi shekel, half of a shekel. So that's the section in which we read this week, because that was the collection of the funds that was used towards it. Okay, so to recap, what you have here is we are reading Parashat Shkalim this week, because we have Rosh Chodesh Adar coming up next week. Rosh Chodesh Adar is the time when we start collecting the chatsi shekel, the half shekel, the funds uh, of the, that money that's collected, starting from the month of Nisan, will be used for the renewed uh, for the new offerings for the korbanot that would be brought every morning and every afternoon that's the korban tamid that we would have one in the morning one in the afternoon those new funds begin from the month of nisan so we have to start collecting now yeah exactly, right. exactly. exactly.